Good morning, welcome back to a new video. In this video, we are working on our mini two-wheel tractor. And what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna add the other four wheels. We have this wheelbarrow, which we don't use because we have a new one. And it has two wheels, so it's pretty perfect for this. And I like it because it has a nice giant bucket. So what my idea is to convert this as kind of like a seat and a small little trailer for it. So when I'm cutting grass, I can sit down. <laughs> Sounds a bit lazy, but yes, it might be much easier for me just to be sitting instead of walking with it. Because I think it's gonna behave a bit better when there's two extra wheels, uh, I think. We will see, because this whole thing is kind of like a hoping it will work, but even if it doesn't, it's gonna go on the other side. It goes either back or forth, so when you are just driving normally without the cutter, it will still work like as a seat. And it will have this bucket which you unhook and then you can dump it. So it will work like a dumping hook, uh, dumping basket and this thing can carry quite a lot. So for dirt or for rocks it will be very useful instead of getting the big tractor with the big bucket. Which wastes a lot more fuel. This thing is pretty economical. So yeah, let's get started by making the hitch on this side so we can hook it on. And then we're gonna work, it, work on the wheelbarrow. It doesn't come out. I think we're gonna put like rebar on this side instead of putting. Here I could just put that, I guess. Should I put that for extra strength? They put re they put ah oh, they just screwed it together, but I think I just put a rebar. So now we have made a hitch. This is gonna be the hitch for the trailer. And it's gonna get attached now. So Desperate thinks it looks like a little guy holding his hands and carrying something. Yeah, that's her imagination. Wait, let's see a close up of it. Yeah. 
So yeah, let's attach it on. Uh, sadly, we're making it kind of non, not so easy to remove, but I think we can change the design up a bit. This hitch thing is kind of the main po po point, and then we can change that design a bit so we can easier, like it's easier to remove. But for now, it's gonna be perfectly fine. We have finished the hitch, we tried to step on it to put our full pressure on it and it seems to be holding perfectly fine, if not we might need to attach another uh, metal there to hold it a bit stronger. So the idea is going to be, this is going to go inside and this is going to go under the wheelbarrow and get welded on and here it can swizzle around like this, so the front is going to be like a steering wheel uh, and the back is just going to follow around like a trailer. So yeah, hopefully it works, I think it should be pretty good. and. Uh, yeah, let's get this attached to the wheelbarrow and we have new wheels for the wheelbarrow because most of it don't use it because the wheels are broken. So that's going to solve a lot of problems. Let's get started. You have no seat. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> we need it like this. It is done, all day in the making, and I have finished it. It's a bit leaning upwards, um, but you know, nothing is perfect. I think it's gonna still cut the grass pretty good, maybe it's just gonna leave it a bit too high. We can see how we can adjust this to be a bit more pointing downwards like that. It's just the weight I'm putting is bending a bit the metal, so I can improve in that, it's not a problem. But let's try it out, see how good it works. Hopefully it does what it's supposed to and just cuts grass. 
even if it cuts in, you know, not the shortest, still cutting grass, which is still perfect. Let's try it out. rain but this is a very fun machine I did not really think that the bars go that far so it doesn't work so well here but you can stand in it I guess uh, but it works really well when you are cutting grass but uh, yeah we need to change it put the wheels here and then I think for cutting the grass is pretty good it's just that the wheels are way too far from each other so it makes the turning a bit difficult we're gonna fix that and uh, yeah that's pretty much it uh, we're gonna see you tomorrow it's starting to rain a lot so it is an amazing machine we have put it on the front and I'm wondering if it works like this as well as like kind of like a, a wheelbarrow and then you can dump it out like fill it up with rocks or just for carrying overall because this thing you know has a lot more power than I do and it's a lot more easier for me but yes we do need to make some changes it is not perfect yet because uh, the grass cutter was way too much in the air so it was cutting way too high and it was getting worse and worse as this was grinding out so the gap between the both wheels is too much, we need to shorten up that space. So I'm sitting on the back wheels instead of putting the pressure on the connection. So the connection is just a link between both and not uh, a pressure point. So yeah, that's something we need to do. But it's all going to be in the next video as we need to cut the grass for the uh, electric enclosures. And we need to cut the electric enclosures fully down because they need to regrow. Because the grass is drying out already, it's finished. So we need the new grass to come out. But that's pretty much it for this video. We're going to see you in the next one when we keep going on this. I hope you're enjoying these videos. I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.